Crawford, and my partner in crime is Lucille. She's also a real estate broker. We've been doing it for 17 years. But our, our major effort is to help people buy and sell homes. However, we have a passion. And the passion is to help people save money on their taxes. So what we've done, this is our encore presentation here to the McKinney Tea Party. Last year we had about half as many people in the room, so I apologize. We, we don't have enough handouts for everybody. But if you want a handout and you didn't get one, uh, by all means, uh, we will send it to you via email. Uh, before you leave, uh, there's a sign-up sheet for CMAs, Comparative Market Analyses, which you're going to need to fight your taxes. Just sign your name and your email address, and we'll get you a CMA specific to your own individual property. I'm a good friend of Mike Giles, who's one of the leaders in this Tea Party group here. I'm a member of the Flower Mountain Tea Party myself. I'm an Air Force Academy graduate. I served two tours in Vietnam, flying C-130s. And I'm very proud of that. I'm also the son of my mother and father who were Air Force uh, veterans. And my son was an 810 pilot in Afghanistan and Iraq. So it runs in the family, folks. Uh, what Lucille handed out to you is a, is a quiz. We're going to start off with a little bit of a quiz. Now, the good news is it's an open book. The answers are on the back. But bear with us. It's a learning experience. Some say the Texas property taxes is flawed because, A, the final sales price of the property is not public information in Texas. Well, that's true. So appraisers don't have accurate data. They do have accurate data. Property appraisals are guesses in a completely subjective field. Mm, yes, that's true. It's a subjective analysis. Protests are handled in an arbitrary, willy-nilly way, depending on which county is involved. That is true, and that's sad. Every county is different. Uh, and it's, it, it's a shame that you have to go, from, like, we're in Denton County, totally different pr procedures than you have here in Collin County. Question number two, the legal deadline to inform your county appraisal district either in writing or online that you, have, you are protesting your 2008 property taxes is on, is on May 15th, or 30 days after you receive the appraisal district notice of appraised value. How many of you have received your notice of appraised value? Most of you have. That's the only change that our legislators have done for you, folks. They changed it from the 30th to the 15th of May. Give me a break. They're getting your money quicker. Governor Abbott put forward two, two different proposals to lower the tax rate to 2.5%. Nothing happened. Senator Benton Court and Harris put forth several motions. Nothing happened. As Tea Party members, I urge you to contact the people that are responsible in your particular district or government to do something about it. You have several people up here talking about they're running for office here. I'd like to have each of those people take it as a personal challenge to lower the taxes for all of us. Yeah. Yeah. Third question. The state's 10% cap on an allowed increase in any year applies only to the market value, which is appraisal estimate sales price, the assessed value, which is both multiplied by tax and entities, and their tax rates to get you your bill. Both, there is no such cap. Well, the answer is B. They multiply the tax rate times the appraised value, and that's how you get your taxes. Which one of these gives Texas seniors an over a blanket exemption increase on their property taxes? All school districts? All school districts in some cities? All cities? The answer, in case you're not aware, is both. Some cities give you an exemption for over 65, as well as, as your homestead exemption. When you protest, you go before a small, a small group called the Appraisal Review Board, Tax Collector Assessors, County Appeals Board, or Monty Python's Flying Circus? <laughs> well, that's not the answer, but the answer is the Appraisal Review Board, the ARB. The property tax consultant who is supposed to represent you in a protest usually charges a flat fee, a fee based on approximately half of the new savings made with a win, either because both are possibilities. We do not represent you at, at a hearing, but what we will do is we'll give you CMAs and we do not charge for that. That's what we pay back to our community. So make sure you sign up for the CMAs, and I'll get to you within four to, four to five days, about the best I can do, because there'll be a ton of them. The biggest discount a Texas homeowner can get is, home, is a homestead exemption. That is true. That's the largest exemption you get. 
If you lose in a hearing, you can accept the A or B decision or appeal by suing a district court, by seeking binding arbitration, or both. The answer is both. One way to win a protest hearing is to present documentation that as of January 1st of this year, a property is overtaxed by showing an estimate for the roof repairs, along with photos of damage. Similar neighbor's house tax much less. Recent house sale contract with the sales price is actually lower than the appraiser estimate. The answer is all the above. Anyone can learn for free about other property values that are publicly listed by going to the county, county's appraiser district website and using the search function. That's true. You can't get the sales price of houses, but you can get the appraised value. Isn't that strange? If a homeowner doesn't get an annual property tax notice in the mail by the first by the first of May, and then that's actually the 15th of April, the homeowner should look up the property on the appraisal district website. Understand the state law only requires notices to be sent when appraised values go up by more than a thousand. Consider the possibility that your notice got lost in the mail. All of the above. The cost to file protests is really steep. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything to, to file a protest. It may cost you some time, it takes some time off of work to go do it. One of the gentlemen I was talking to said that it really doesn't pay him to, to protest the taxes because he loses a thousand dollars just by coming into protest. Well he makes a lot more money than I do, I tell you that. <clears throat> Get comps, that's what experts say is another way to protest. That's really the only way to protest. The appraisers don't really care uh, about your whining and, and complaining that your neighbor's his house is less than yours in, in value and so on and so forth. All they really care about are the comps, the com comparable sales within the last six months. Complaints about the current property tax issue should go to the State Senate Property Reform and Relief Set Select Committee via Chairman Senator Paul Betancourt, who's one of my heroes, by the way. The State Texas, Texas State Comptroller, which monitors the system, your state representative and senator who's looking at the property tax reform, all of the above. So what do you think? How many of you got 15 out of 15? Well, let's see at the end of this session if we can, if we can give you some education so that you can become an expert in this area. The seal handout, the, the, the 10th step, the 10 simple steps for a property uh, tax protest. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you Thank you. Okay, let's get started. The first thing is you receive and check the notice of appraised value. You want to make sure that they have it right. Make, make sure they have the right address. Make sure they have the right components. You know, three bedrooms, two baths, two car garage. The year is built. Make sure that all the, all the parts are, are there. It sounds a, like a simple uh, test, but it's very important that you take a, a close look at your notice of appraised value. Review the details. Make sure that the assessor has accurately described your property. So, sometimes they, they kind of miss things. They kind of miss a whole section of, of a barn that I have on, on my property. I, I talk them into adding that to it. I, I hated to do it to tell them what, that they messed up, but I had to do it. Compare the assessed value of neighborhood properties. This is an effort that, that makes you feel good, but it doesn't do you any good. Because the appraisers will look at comps. They, they don't really care about your neighborhood. They don't care what your neighborhood looks like. They want to see what the comparable sales that have occurred in the last six months and how that affects you. Check the recent sale price of comparable homes. This is, this is the key. You want to make sure that you have good comps. You want to make sure that they aren't stale. You don't want you want them to be as close to January 1st as you can. You don't want something that's 12 months old. You want something that is as similar as it, as it can be. And when I do the comps for you, I will I will weed out the ones that are, are different, vastly different than yours. I'll get as close as I can, and I'll give you an estimate of fair market value of the property.
you have the right to request from the appraisal district the comps that they use to, to calculate your tax bill. So by all means, call them. You want the comps that they use, they'll send you five or six of them. And then you can evaluate those comps with the ones that, that I've sent you. And then you can pick the, the ones that are at least value so that will help you lower your taxes. But that's a step well worthwhile. This was our home back several years ago, and they sent us five comps. I accepted three of them, I gave them two that I came up with, and the guard tax was lowered by about $20,000 in assessed value. Okay, if you, if you don't like what you see, you can file a notice of protest. And the notice of protest is, is May 15th or 30 days after the date of the notice that you've received. So I believe in Collin County, if that's May 18th, you have to check your notice of, notice of tax assessment to be sure. It'll say right in there when you, the date that it is that you need to file a protest. It, you will get a letter from the appraisal district notifying you of the hearing, the formal hearing at the uh, appraisal review board, the date and time, and they'll send you a letter on that. But before you, you agree to go before the ARB, I would recommend that you do an informal hearing. What an informal hearing is, you go in there as long as it's before the, the date of, of your ARB hearing. You go in and talk to an, uh, one of the staff members of the, of the appraisal district one-on-one, -on -one, and you can bring your comps, and you can argue your comps with that, that person. Sometimes that works. The problem is that most of these people don't have a lot of authority to make changes. They'll give you a little bit, but it's not much. But if you're, if you're happy with just getting a little bit, uh, by all means, uh, take the effort to do that. Uh, you could also do that over the phone, I understand, in Collin County, so you have another opportunity. You don't even have to go into the district office to do that. One other thing that you want to do is to make sure that you document with photographs all the repairs that are necessary in your home, because that is why you're protesting the value of the tax, because you're saying, well, my home needs work. It needs a new roof. Uh, it needs new windows. They're all fogged. Um, all those things, uh, maybe if you have a pool, it needs remarsiding. Um, it's cracked in areas. Um, if you have any kind of damage um, to shingles or um, to siding, you need to document that, and then you need to get a price from a contractor or online where you can show them, well, this will cost me so much money to get repaired. And so you should take that into consideration when you're evaluating my home. Um, if you don't go with that and you just tell them, well, you know, my home isn't as good as the ones you've chosen, that's not going to mean anything. They're going to want to see evidence to the fact that you really do have these repairs to make. So be sure to do that and bring that, even if you go to an informal hearing, uh, but especially if you go to the formal hearing with the ARB, that is really important. Quick question, go ahead. Yeah, I don't know if it's appropriate time to ask, but just a quick question about that. My AC unit's original with the home and can be replaced, is that something that can be? Yes. 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 Repairs and replacement, yes. Upgrades, no. Right. Now, if you, if you want to put an addition on your house, yeah. they're not going to give anything on that. But if you have to replace windows, you have some other repairs. But make sure that they're repairs and maintenance, not not upgrades. Go ahead, sir. Is there any possibility your tax may go off as a result of Good segue. I'll get to that in a minute. Perfect question. Formal hearing before the ARB. The, the appraisal review board is made up of three to five fellow citizens. They're not members of the appraisal district. They're appointed by a judge. Uh, they're mostly uh, former real estate agents, brokers, and uh, appraisers. Uh, you'll go before the hearing and be under Robert's Rules of Order. You'll be sworn in. You're allowed to give your testimony 
and given your, your comps and your estimate of the value of your property, which may be different than theirs, hopefully, the appraisal district will get on their computer and they'll pull up their comps and they'll argue that the house is worth X dollars more. Then, you have, then you're allowed one rebuttal. You can rebut the testimony. They're not allowed to rebut, but you are. Then the, the board members will close the hearing and then they'll deliberate right in front of you and they'll tell you the value of, that they came up with and that's it. You can't argue any more than that. Uh, and then they give you a piece of paper saying this is it. Now, do you have any recourse? Certainly do. You can appeal to the state level board or district court. Problem with that, you have to go to Austin, you have to hire an attorney. Nothing against attorneys, but that costs a lot of money. I don't know how much you're going to save unless they're really out of line on the assessed value of your home. Did I miss a couple questions? I'm sorry, but does somebody have a question about it? Go ahead, please. Yes, you can bring pictures. You can bring, uh, what we do is, we, uh, they, want, they want a digital copy of it, of anything you bring. No, uh, they want a, sometimes they want a hard copy, but mo most times they ask for a digital copy of the They want you to leave a copy with them? Yes, yes. Yes, sir. In the case of Collin County, they'll make the digital record right there, and they'll actually copy for you. Okay, yes, go ahead. You have a question, sir? Yes, I'm talking about Collin County. You said get comps for the last six months. What if you don't have comps in your immediate subdivision? Well, what are you going to argue if you don't have comps? You're going to tell them, well, I think, I think my house is worth $10,000 less? What I'm saying is if the appraisal district tries to use comps outside of your subdivision, what do you do? Well, that's called fraud. They don't do that. Yes, they do. They, 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 people, they do. people have been convicted of fraud by doing exactly that. I agree that. with you. They do that all the time. Well, well that shows that your property is different, substantially different, less than, or hopefully not more than, what they're coming up with. So I don't know if that answers your case, question. In but your case, when you get their comps, you're going to have to really put together a strong argument for why these comps that they've chosen are incorrect, and these comps. And then probably what they're going to do, they're going to, they're going to trade you. They're going to enforce trade and say, well, I'll give you two if you take these two of mine. And that's probably the way they're going to trade it. Okay, here's some do's and don'ts, okay? The, the appraisal district is obligated to follow the Texas state constitution. And, and it requires that all properties be assessed by, at, by fair market value. Now, what is fair market value? My definition is the same as theirs. The appraisal district sometimes is a little different. But what... My, my, my definition is that it's the price at which a property would transfer if it's put on the open market. Both buyer and seller know what's going on, and there's no restrictions on the property, and neither is in a position to take advantage of the other. In other words, you don't ever want to use a, a foreclosure or a short sale as one of your comps. It just doesn't work. It'd be nice if you could, if you could do that. It, you, it, that's not really what the Texas Constitution requires. But I, a lot of times, the, I've brought this up to the appraisal review board many times, and they just kind of gloss over my comments. And I'm telling them the way they do it is wrong. Because realtors don't evaluate properties the same way they do. They have a totally different system. 
Not fair, but that's the way it is, folks. Try to compare your assessment to your neighbors. Don't do this. Your neighbors down the street, unless you have the correct the comparable sales data. Compare apples and apples, not apples and oranges. Just because the Joneses have a house that you think is the same as yours, it may not be true. But the, the comps that you use will be much closer and give you a more accurate chance of getting your taxes lower. Select and present your comp sale properties that are the same class of construction. Collin County doesn't tell you what that is, but they'll tell you the general condition of the property. And if, if, if you choose poorly uh, maintained properties and, and they're selecting, or, or, or you, you choose the good properties and they select the poor ones, uh, that'll be against you in, in that case. Don't try to average your neighborhood properties in an attempt to prove that you're overvalued. This also applies to area, state, and national averages. They don't really care about what they do in New Jersey. You know, they, they really don't. So they, they really only care about the immediate appraisal district that they're working in, like you call account. Protesting property tax will lower the amount for which I can sell or refinance my home. That's a myth. The sale price of the loan amount and, or loan amount is not related to the taxable value. Trust me on that. I sell a lot of homes and not one of them is the same as the assessed value. I pride myself on that. I'm usually way over this price when I sell my own client's homes. Yes, ma'am. When, when you talk comps, you're talking about the sale price of a home? Only sales price, that's correct. But you, but you just said that the sales price is not the same as the, it's almost like a contradiction. No, it's not. The assessed value is what the appraisal district is coming up with. Tax the sales price is what's the, the, proper, the, the value of the home that's been sold that you use as a comparable sale. So when we're using that, we're trying to say that our home is worth? It's, okay. it's what's market value. Your house has a market value and it has an assessed value. And the two don't necessarily, they won't necessarily be the same. Right. So. When we're protesting and presenting these comparables, we're presenting that sales price, right? Market price. Sales you never price. use active listings. You never use pending listings. Right. You only use sold properties. Now, in Texas, we're a non-disclosure state, and that means that you cannot find out what properties in your neighborhood have sold for unless you have access to the multiple listing service or you go to the county courthouse and look them up. Here's a strange thing. Most appraisal districts say they don't have access to the MLS system. That's, they, they do. They do. But they'll tell you that they don't. And they've told, told that to me several times. But her point is that it's already tied. What she's saying is they're comparing the comps. So already tied to the sales price. So then the evaluated property is going to be tied. You know, there's not much to protect if the Because there's other homes that may not have sold for that price. That's that's why. It's hard so, to find the uh, exact comp. That's correct. Believe it or not, it's not that hard. I, I can usually pick three good comps for most most homes. Now, now if I if we were out in the country, if we were out in West Texas, that'd be much much different story. They have all kinds of formulas that they use. Yes, but trust me, unless you're an accountant or an appraiser, it's very difficult to understand. Yeah, yeah. But one last question we'll get out. When anybody go to protest, they have a question which says, are you an appraiser? So if I'm myself an appraiser, or my friend is an appraiser, or I hire an appraiser to appraise my house, can I not use that information? You have the to formal appraisal? 
for example, you have to disclose who you are. Right. They want to know that. So when we go in, we have to disclose that we're brokers and agents, which I don't know if that's a good thing. Sometimes I think that's a bad thing because they think you sent all these people to me and now you're here too. Well, I don't like that. But um, yeah, it's just because you have to disclose. Yeah, but if, if I get a formal appraisal done of my house, right. and take that appraisal document, is that not something they will be doing? They're going to use their own system. You can use that as evidence and, and yeah. argue, but they're going to use their own system. You can use that. I would use that. I would use it because you got good comps right there. If, if you have a licensed appraisal, third party appraisal time. Okay, they won't let you. There's a myth that they won't let you protest your taxes every year. That's not true. The law provides the right to protest every year. Most protests are successful. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. My value may go up if I protest. If you don't do the all the necessary repairs that you submitted this term, next year, can you resubmit the same? Yes. Yes, you can. As long as you haven't done the work. The cost may have gone up. Well, they may question the data, data on the quote. You know, but, but, but just update the estimates. If you, if you say you ran out of money, you didn't, you, you didn't get the foundation fixed. Some people are concerned that they protest and taxes are going to go up. Well, that's not necessarily true. There's no chance for the value to increase on an informal hearing unless you agree to it. The only time a value can increase is at the appraisal review board hearing, and that seldom happens. But it, it can happen. Most times they won't increase, but they'll just say, well, take the district's number, and that's it. Sometimes they, they increase a little bit, not too much. It's not worth my time to protest my tax value. Well, it all depends on how much money you have. It, it, it only takes a few minutes of effort. You don't have to attend the hearing. Average savings are between three and four hundred dollars. We all can use an extra four hundred bucks, right? It's worth it to spend a little bit of time. And the comps don't question anything because we're not going to charge them. You know the mathematics behind compounding. So maybe um, you know you have a Came home and said, if I take a penny and I save a penny on the first day and I double it every day for 30 days, by the end of the month, how much money will I have? A million dollars. So what we're saying to you is the same thing. If you save money every single year, you're going to pay less in taxes at the end of 20, 30 years. Um, now, right now, you know, you say, well, I'm only saving a small amount. But that's going to be compounding over the course of time. So you have to take that into consideration. Uh, you're not going to save thousands of dollars in one year. But over time, you are going to save it. And, and we did a, a study with a $200,000 house. And they saved substantial money by the end of the uh, 30 year now. I agree that they're projecting a lot of it. It used to be used to for just mailing your well, all I can tell you is one lady came up to us today, and I don't know where she is, but she said she got thirty thousand off her assessed value. She went for the very first time last year, and she will go again this year. And she was, she said she brought pictures and everything, exactly what we were talking about, documenting everything. And so it depends who you get, you know. Um, that's the luck of the draw. Go ahead, man. No, you do not. As a matter of fact, that's a good segue. You, you do not, when, when you file your notice of protest, do not tell them what you think your property is worth. Let them figure it out. That's their job. No, you, you don't need to make your job easier. You can. Yeah. But it's always better to be in person. I know. But 
Okay, my property is already below market value. There's no way it can be reduced. Statistics show that most property tax protests result in a reduction in assessed value. Our analysis techniques greatly increase the chance of, of a tax reduction. Not a guarantee, but it's going to give you a, a really a method to go and protest and see if you can get your taxes lower. Like Lucille said, you know, this is a compounding effect. If, if you don't protest every year, it's going to go up three to four hundred dollars every year in your, in your assessed value. And over time, you're going to say, what happened? Got me. I'm sorry, I don't think anyone can hear you. I'll just give it. Step three. Step three. Yeah. You're for the market. So you can, like, pair. I'm not going to you. The step three says that you can compare the assessed value of a homes in your neighborhood. So, but then you talk about the same value. So why it's not a, um, a good idea to compare with the assessed value? Because let's say that I see the assessed value is less than mine. Can I say, why did you assess this house like so uh, lower than mine? So it's not a good point, sir, because yeah. usually the assessed value is less than the same value. So, no, that's, that's not the way they do it. That's not the way they do it. They no, they're only going to be concerned about sales. Oh, and the other they was, don't care about your neighbor is assessed same house down the street is assessed for less than mine. There, that's not going to be a good argument for you. Not you're, not, you're not going to. You know, I don't see the reason, but I understand this. Well, it's like, I, because I mean, if they did the job, uh, it's not fair if uh, a house which is the same as mine that is like 200. I wish, I wish this all was about yeah, I mean, I'm just And the other question is uh, the, the same value you say, I can know like this number of link, so how can I get this, uh, this information? By filling out a form that's going around. The same, uh, like... Fill out the form, I'll show you the comment. I'll send you the comment. Or if you have a realtor that you know, you should be able to go to that local realtor that you've used before and ask them to do you a favor and get those comps for you, right? Now, is there, is there a better time to actually follow? Would it be best to like wait till like the last day or two before? That's one technique that people use. They wait till the very end, and then they go in, and then they think they're going to uh, get a better deal. But I'm not sure if that works. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. You mentioned that we have the right to ask uh, what kind of terms are distributed to school so you just mentioned that you know, we have a, a right to ask the district on um, you know, what they used to uh, That's uh, correct. Yeah, right. How can we ask that? Because I looked at the website, I did not find any information. Call them, right? Call yeah. them. So you want to use the concept they use to come up with your value. And what they'll do, they'll do the pictures. You can't see the that they use. Call them the They have to send them to you. Well, you have to call them. Well, this is right. Uh, just one, one more question. Okay. You can pull out all the house, right? Yeah, and then you can get a.